Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Temi. Welcome, please stick around. In order not to make this very long, I'm gonna get right to it because it's a very short tutorial on this amazing item that I found at Walgreens. Okay, let's get into today's video. So, I was at Walgreens and yeah, I actually went to pick up my prescription and on the while I was standing in the aisle or not in the aisle in a line because this pharmacy is within the store you know it's inside a store as some people might not know about that but I was standing in line to get my to pick up my prescription and lo and behold the pharmacy is located next to the beauty aisle <laughs> makeup aisle and all that so yeah I could not resist but to look to the right and I saw You know a couple of things that i would love to buy when i have the money for it <laughs> but yeah i saw this one item that i've been really wanting to give a try and that is the magnetic eyelashes i don't know if you guys have heard of it or have seen it there's so many different brands out there about it that have it and some of them are really expensive some are like i think a dupe of it and I guess affordable so at Walgreens obviously this would be a drugstore brand and it's a drugstore and it's a cheaper version of the 50 whatever hundred dollar ones that are out there <clears throat> excuse me so I was looking to the right I saw the a bunch of things and then I saw this particular eyelash magnetic pro magnetic eyelash um, system and it's by Eiler I think that's how it's pronounced Eyler, E-Y-L-U-R-E. And this particular style is called, uh, it's the Faux Mink Wispy. That's the one I picked because they have another one that is just like half of the eye, which is just the edge of the eye that you can apply the magnetic eyelash to. I didn't really like that because I don't have enough hair already anyways. And this is the Wispy style. And I'm going to be showing you how I applied it and it stay on for about seven hours with like no movement. Literally, I mean, obviously the wind test or the whatever test you want to call it. When I tried this on the first time, no lie, um, I really was skeptical, but I was so impressed by it after I wore it for seven hours. Now, I had a meeting to go to by 4 p.m. I had this Eiler eyelashes on about 3 30 and i did not take it off till about 11 p.m because i just wanted to try it out i even told my husband like oh do you like my lashes he's like oh yeah i like it and he was like, i didn't even know that you had lashes on but when i had it on i had no makeup on i just applied it just to see how well it will wear and this is my receipt here no lie it's i bought this on the 10th and today is the 13th and i've worn it on the 10th on the 11th well, no, on the 10th and on the 12th, and today is the 13th, so I'm doing this video to show you guys how you can up your eyelash system game or whatever you want to call it without wasting money as well as without, you know, struggling through the eyelash glue and all that. That is a struggle for me still, even after so many tries, but this, this makes, has cut about 45 minutes of trying to put eyelashes on for me, for me. So if you try this and you um, follow like the steps I'm going to try to show you guys how to do it, you should definitely be able to wear your this eyelashes with or without makeup. So I'm putting it on with makeup on today. Also, the price for this cost $16.99 is the retail price. Oh, it tax is $18. There are there are other brands out there that you know where they're selling not the whole system which this comes with the liner which is like a liner up here and then the lashes some of them said sell, sell it separately so one the glue would be or the liner would be ten dollars the eyelash if you like the style would be another ten dollars that's twenty dollars i paid 16.99 for this every dollar counts okay so yeah i bought this one because even while i was standing in line for my prescription I pulled up my YouTube <laughs> app and I looked up the reviews for this. Now the major the major reviews for not this brand but for all magnetic eyelash system anyways are not always very good because either it's a user error thing 
or they had a defective one one or the other but for me I tried I bought this particular style brand because there were other brands there but I bought this particular brand and I'm impressed by this particular brand which is why I'm doing this video and I'm not sponsored I like I said I went to pick up my prescription and this popped my came up to my eye I mean caught my attention and I looked I watched about two videos while stay, waiting in line to just make a decision to get it um, because there were some other ones that were cheaper and then some that were more expensive but this is my choice so let me get into the tutorial or whatever you want to call it the demo how to put this on so that you guys can see it what you're going to need though before you even try to put this on you can either wear it like I said without makeup or with makeup if you're gonna do it without makeup make sure you wipe your eyes very well with like a wipe I'm not gonna do that here because I have makeup on just to show you guys that you could, you can wear it with makeup on and then you're going to need something with a spoolie on it you're gonna need that you're going to need either one of this tweezer thingies here or any of this three uh, tweezers you can just use any of this and then you also want to get you a mascara you know your favorite mascara mirror and then a fan something to blow your eyes with now let me get into this real quick and what I do is I'm gonna comb my hair high my whatever eyelash down a bit not comb it brush it down <laughs> brush my eyelash down a bit I don't have any any mascara on it yet I'm gonna do one eye first just to see and I'm gonna open this Oh, I forgot to mention and I read the instruction which is why I think this works for me well anyways the step one is you apply the liner allow it to dry second you apply two more coats allow it to dry and then you now apply the magnetic eyelash I for me worked um, I applied it four times you know the, I, each time I let it to dry I let it dry because I feel like when I applied it on the third time and I applied Put the magnetic lash it wasn't adhering well enough and I would also suggest your inner corner eye on the in inner part of your eye make sure you apply a generous amount okay so it says on this um, instruction sheet here for a lighter look apply a thin layer that means to me they shouldn't even put that there because it's I mean I guess it, it works for some people but it, I, it's not gonna work for majority of everyone um, a thin layer means the the magnet will be a bit weaker so you have you stand a chance of it flying off your eyes and then for a more cat eye look draw a medium line with added flick and then for a more glam finish try a full line with an exaggerated flick um, in this video when I tried it you know I didn't I didn't put much uh, any line really I didn't need it because I just wanted to see how it would look so in this video I'm going to apply it just to the beginning and the end of my eyeliner with eyelash yeah eyelash line and not put any wing liners there because this is wispy so it should give me that wispy look you know so that's what I want to tell you guys about it also says to shake the magnetic eyelash liner before using and apply three layers of the magnetic lash liner I'm going to be applying four layers because that's how it works for me when I tried it without makeup I might even need a fifth layer because I already applied makeup on this and you know the barrier of it adhering to my skin is um, reduced so that's those are my tips and then when you want to remove this for me I just took a wipe it's a wet wipe and just and this thing came off like you know like you know how those um, facial mask that you um, peel off kind of like that but without the pain that's exactly how it came off because it's already wet and it just sort of and I didn't have to do too much mind you this was without the makeup part so yeah um, or you could probably just put oil on your eye and uh, some type of oils face oil and then it'll definitely rub off that's it and you can just up your eyelash game that way so let's get into the demo okay, okay so I'm much much closer because I want to get you know get you guys in here to see very very well at least as close as, as I can get to <laughs> all right so I'm looking to the side to make sure I'm in focus that's why so 
I have the eyeliner, all right, and I have my mirror here. I'm going to apply to this eye. Okay, there we go. Make sure you look down. Hold on. Uh, okay, look down. Twist your wand and then apply some more like so keep going slowly but surely no wings no wings just like that okay that's the first line I mean the first coat and then put it back in the thing I grab my um, fan and blow 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 I close my eyes because my eyes gonna get watery if I keep it open and blow air uh, water uh, air yeah if I blow into it okay now it feels dry on my eye already okay it feels dry if I keep going out of focus, I apologize. I'm gonna try my best to try to stay as in focus as I can. Um, so that's the first coat. Now I'm gonna add the second coat. There we go. Now let's go with the second coat on the same line, same line. Twist your wand and draw right over. It's all about being precise. And then you blow again. Okay. And I don't feel any burning or anything like that. Just FYI. I don't feel none of that. Um in case you're the type that's very sensitive to things i would suggest you apply it to maybe your inner arm here or something see if you burn if you don't burn it's probably okay for you this does not burn me eight at all at all not even the first time after applying it so all right that's dry go back to it again third coat i'm doing four like i said third coat though this one here we go get it out it's coated well coated so I'm gonna use one side and layer it again on the same line and then flip it continue with the same line it got on my hair but that's okay I try to get it as close to my hairline as possible, but don't to don't get too worried about that. Just make sure you apply a generous amount on that line that you're making on your eye. Okay? Put it back in. Blow again. Blow, 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 blow. Mm hmm. It's dried now. Now, that's the third coat. This is my fourth coat. I'm gonna put it right on top again. I mean, I could try to put apply the eyelash, but mm, no, I'm not gonna do that. I trust my fourth coat all the time. Here we go, fourth coat. Ah, see, I messed up. That's why you gotta be careful. It's okay though. We'll cover it up a little bit. now flip then you go 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 right over the same line it's nice and thick okay see that mistake i got there it's okay i don't mind i was precise the first three times so it's okay life goes on Okay, I think it's dry enough now. 
now i'm just brushing this down because i have my i i have such a curly eye ah, a curly eyelash i'm brushing it down so that it not it's not sticking to my um my lid you know because it, it is like it's not it's like glue but not glue at the same time so i'm combing it down i'm combing down my or brushing down my hair okay i'm brushing it down before applying the um the light the um what the hell am i applying before applying this um magnetic lash thing okay now i'm going to apply the lashes i'm gonna take i could actually use my hand which i'm going to do and because these are wispies so this goes this one goes for this eye this one goes for this eye so i'm just gonna grab this one right here it looks like that the details of that squares of magnets on it okay now i'm going to apply i had I, I would take my must my spoolie brush my hair down like that or i come this way and brush it down like that hold it down and then i apply it's already glue, um like connecting so once i put it like that then i take one of my tweezers which is whoops this one here get my mirror and I'll take it and just um, adjust it it's already actually <laughs> adhering to my liner I uh, my eye my eyeliner to the glue not the glue there it is it stays it like literally just boom I didn't have to do too much it uh, it attracted to it boom that's it it's on there do you guys see I'm gonna try to get as close I'm leaning now if I fall it's you guys fault though see that it's literally adhering to it and then I can use my tweezers underneath brush my hair out a bit because I don't want my hair too much into it okay so I'm going to apply my mascara to my my own natural eyelashes okay so that you can see the difference you already see the difference just by see that <laughs> and I brush it in I like this so much this has taken oh, wow 45 minutes less uh, time you want to make sure it sits on top of that liner that you drew on top of it and you close this together and you push and press it down into your um, liner and then I can actually feel that it's on my line eyeliner it's on my eyeliner it's not going anywhere because the coat i put on there boy oh boy it, it's it's more than enough for it to stay for hours like hours and hours a day all day and all i do is simply um i can see my own hair going through the lashes that's why i'm kind of trying to coordinate this hair to stay in it's my own natural hair not the lashes the lashes are perfect now what I'll do is after putting the lashes I mean the lashes and the mascara I'll now clamp it together you could either use a lash curler or if you have one of these so what I do is I go from the side and go right through and just start clamping down clamp down clamp down Maybe one more time, clamp down, clamp down, clamp down. And my dear people of, <laughs> my dear people of God, I'm a weirdo. 
<laughs> but that's okay. Um, this stays on. You can even use your hand and push it down like this too. But my eyelash game is on point now. You guys see? Wind test. Let me blow at it, I guess, because I don't really have a wind wind, unless you're going skydiving or, I don't know, bungee jumping. But this is my wind test. Mm -mm 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 Okay, that's it for this video. I'll do my second eye without recording it and then I'll just talk to you guys later. Bye. So, I have on both eyelids. I I said eyelids. Wait and be eyelids. This is what I have on right now, guys. On my eyes. Let me get closer. Look. Look at my eyes. You guys, this is a game changer. I'm so glad to be able to share this because, boy, this if this has not been a struggle for anyone else, this is much, much easier. I filmed this whole thing in less than, it's 11, 30 minutes. 30 minutes putting eyelash on when I do regular makeup alone eyelash alone can take an hour a whole hour just trying to finesse and do this but this yeah like I'm not sponsored though but because this works I had to share with those that are able to have the patience to do this you need the patience you can't just think oh let me slap it on my eye Follow those steps as best as you can if your eye gets watery or you can't keep a steady hand, a steady eyelid, I guess, and, you know, precision. If you don't are not able to do that, I would just suggest keep trying and practicing and then you get better at it. If you, uh, as far as, it's similar to putting on regular strip lashes, but that one is, regular strip lash with glue is just an exam and it's a really hard exam that I don't think I'll pass. I'm still getting a C in that. <laughs> but this took me 10 minutes, about 10 minutes to put on, on both eyes. And it's, it looks great. It looks just like regular strip lashes. It looks amazing. It feels good. It doesn't, I don't have any kind of uh, reaction or whatever to make, you may call it. And this is the Eyler London Pro Magnetic Eyeliner and Lash System. You're supposed to be able to apply this within five minutes, but I would just say about 10, 15 minutes, give yourself that amount for either both eyes, which is for your first application. The more you keep applying, the quicker and faster it's gonna get for you. Trust me. Yes, it, it definitely gets better the more you keep trying. And if you are, if you do have a sensitive eye, um, eye try to just maybe fold your eye to the side and then be putting it on, hold it down. Put it on that could just try things that would help you and keep get your lash game on okay i'm gonna be picking up maybe two more styles of this right now this is the only one i bought because i wanted to just try to see if it works and now that i know that it works girl fragrance i'm coming for you or oh, eyler eyler if you hear me or see me i'm gonna tag you guys send me more of different styles of this and I will do more videos for you all if you send me this okay just putting it out there you know and anybody that has a brand out there that wants me to try any makeup or any um, whatever you want me to try just send it to me hit me up on my email you see it on the screen thank you all so much for watching I appreciate you guys for staying to the end and watching all my weirdness and my I was just too excited that's why I'm like this you know just too excited to show you guys this thing anyways thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate you all for watching to the end if you have not liked this video now is the time to give it a thumbs up by liking it and also subscribe to my channel 
please it's about time now you've seen a couple of my videos subscribe I would really appreciate it and we would love for you to join and also if you are someone that wears lashes or learn want to learn how to wear lashes or you know someone that wants to learn how to wear lashes send them my video send it to them they're going to thank you later you get send them this video so that they can you know learn and up their own eyelash game on too you get anyways i'll see you guys in my next video have a good one always be thankful bye uh please stick around and if you are what come on Tammy, you do this all the time you need to get get it together get it together